when I'm leaving the camp, I don't know, there's no like swimming pool, no beach, no nothing. In the Burma, the people not swimming, the river and lake are uh, a big danger, never swim. The refugee camp didn't really have any um, opportunities to do anything really and um, we didn't have much feelings about anything and now that we have opportunities to do things, um, we're really excited, we're really grateful. The Korean program, Multicultural One, had started off uh, about four or five years ago in conjunction with various funding bodies along with Life Saving Victoria to prevent drownings. When I meet the young Korean kids, I, um, I say to them, well, it is a good opportunity for you guys to come, t to come and learn how to swim because when you live in the camp, you don't, have, you don't have a chance and you don't even have a swimming pool. All you have is a river and a dirty river. The program started off funding students that had never had any water experience to educate them in water safety. If there's dangers in and drowning statistics for our new arrivals, if they don't know there's a danger, they can't avoid it. Uh, my English was 0%. I couldn't understand anything except yes and no. I became confident now. I used to be like very quiet and then like when the teacher asks us to do things, I do it and if they ask this question, I answer now. Uh, you can meet new people and then you, you can learn through your friends, you can meet new friends and then you're not alone. There are young girls and boys here today who have taken that step further. They've seen it as a pathway to competitive swim, swim teams uh, or to a local life-saving club. And then thinking a little bit more, well, wow, what else can I do with it? I might become a pool lifeguard or I might become a swim teacher. And that's exactly what has happened over the six or seven years of this program. I think me swimming in the Korean community, it's a great example for the younger girls or boys because it might persuade them like to swim. Uh, I like being with teams and I like working together. The, the girls are saying in school they're feeling more confident, they're able to talk to other people, their work is better, their, their grades are better, their, their communication is better. If you swim, you will like um, safe for safe for water and there's good for your life. As it grew and developed what became apparent was the other add-on effects like um, having job opportunities, having more confidence to come in and using local facilities which they thought were possibly restricted beforehand. When I started swimming here, it makes me feel settled. It makes me feel that I was involved in the community. I love teaching and I love little kids because when you come here, you feel happy with them. And then like when you're at home, if you feel stressed and things like that, you just sit in your room and think about it. But when you're with kids, you're happy. They make you happy and you just forgot about everything that you have. Some people that cannot swim, then they, they can sing, like I will teach them. Correct children, many, and the other many children um, can watch, uh, they can, they watch can see me, yeah, and, uh, and the next time when, when I teach the, the other kids, the come and the, they, they can see, yeah, when I teach them, they can see. We find here, the Korean teachers have a natural, gentle nature. Um, and it's so gentle that it, if they just draw young children or non-confident people into the water. We can put any scared child with one of our teachers and they just accept them and the children just think, I'm safe. And they will do whatever's asked of them and they, their swimming grows and their confidence grows very quickly. And that it's, it's, it's something you can't teach. It's an it factor that they have about their nature and it, it, it makes them brilliant. 
um, brilliant teachers and it's one of those things that they're natural teachers and they probably weren't even aware of it. It's also a two-way street. It's not only the fact that the kids are getting something out of it, I would say the other kid who's from another culture is getting something out of it as well. The swim teachers are learning more about another culture. So pools are, pools are benefiting. They're, they're getting a, a cross-education benefit from it. It's not just the pools. It's also our, our life-saving clubs. Traditionally, um, an area uh, for the stereotypical Australian, but all of a sudden, they're learning more about the Indian culture, the Afghan culture, the Burmese culture. I feel really proud of myself. I feel like I can do more better and that I can improve more. So for swimming, I would like to go for, to in to do it for a long time because that's the thing that I loved. I thought that even though that I was like, even if I was a nurse, I still wanted to do swimming as a part-time job because I love it. These girls that are teaching may be role models. They may aspire to be those sorts of things. They may aspire to be a coach. Who knows? Uh, in the future, I want to be a swimming teacher so I can help my community uh, by that. Some people may come having English difficulties, so yeah, I, mean, I can help them. When we first started this program, people weren't sure about where, how it would go and where it would lead. Several hundred kids have learned to swim. Adults have got involved, uh, either in a training aspect or telling adults that, hey, look, water safety is really important. Today, here at Laverton Pool, there's three or four generations of swimming teachers that have come through over the last six or seven years, which is a fantastic result. I can only imagine how many more kids are going to be able to learn to swim in the next six or seven years, how many more swim teachers that we'll have, how much more this pool will know about uh, different cultures and how much more this culture will know about their new Australian culture. I would like to be a swimming teacher to help the communities and I would um, like to swim for Australia or Thailand one day, yeah. You have us, like we will support you, so yeah. Don't feel like you left out and then you're not, you're not alone.